We've headed south to the second largest city in Sierra Leone, Bo. As you can see, it's a very busy city. There's lots of new enterprises, lots of new businesses developing here. It's also a very popular diamond trading city. It is also full of lots of Sierra Leonean traditions. Let us go and see what we can find out. Now, one of the activities you'll find here in Bo is traditional cloth weaving. I am here at the house of Saidu Moifore, who is keeping alive a tradition that's been going on for hundreds of years. This process is relatively quicker to do. It is already getting quite long. This is eventually taken to a tailor who will design a traditional cloth like this. Or uh, in an even more traditional cloth like this one. I think I'm going to try this one. Mm. Ta da! Wow, it's plenty of room, it's very airy. What do you think? What I like best is the accessories. I don't know if you know what this is, but this is a cotton bud. And it is from this that they get the traditional cotton that they use to make the traditional clothes, okay? Now, um, there's some people who are very good at it and what they do, they just twine it like this until it becomes a really, really long thread. Now, I'm not very good at this. And I've just been told that we'll be able to go and see somebody who knows how to do it. Hopefully we'll be able to find the person. It's raining right now, so we better get going. Now I've managed to get some few cotton buds here. Now I'll give it to these ladies and let's see how it's done. So now they've used this bow instrument and that's the way they take out all the dirt from the cotton itself. And now after she's finished getting all the cotton, this is how actually she gets the thread using this instrument here. That's how it's got. She has just explained that it takes about a year for a child to learn how to do this process. 
However, they do have another instrument called Kele, and that instrument is not that easy to get now. Um, however, so she's using this, um, this is a rather crude method, it's a rather slow method to use, but, but that's why it will take a year. Uh, but if they have this other instrument, which is called Ikele, it will take a lot quicker to teach someone, a uh, child, how to do this process. And I, I just have a funny feeling that this, is, this might be dying out soon if more and more children don't learn this particular process. So let's see again how cotton becomes cloth. This is the traditional way. The cotton boards are picked open by skillful hands, then pulled through a bow-like instrument to unravel the strands. The cotton is then wound into a thread using a spinning top like this. The full bobbins of cotton thread are sent to weavers like Saidu, who turn it into cloth. Saidu is an expert weaver who can create all kinds of beautiful cloth from different colors of cotton. Then, a tailor designs and creates clothes just like this.